Hello, my name is Mark Mahalik. I'm an automation engineer with Kendall Electric. Today, I will be talking to you about the PowerFlex 520 series family of low voltage AC drives. I will be going into detail regarding the PowerFlex 523, 525, and 527, highlighting the key attributes and differences between each of those drives. One of the key features of the PowerFlex 520 series drives is its modularity. This is in reference to its ability to separate its control module and its power module. This will help with the troubleshooting and programming portions of your drive. On the back of the control module is a USB port that you can use to program your control module without having to power up the whole drive. On top of being able to program your drive, you also use this for installing option modules. This may include encoder cards, dual ethernet feedback, backnet, or other forms of option modules. To do so, you would take your option module, and you see the connection right there. You're going to place your option module in there. It snaps in, and now your drive is configured for, in this case, encoder feedback. Once you have your option module included, you can go back to your power module, snap it in, and your drive is ready to be run. Other benefits of the PowerFlex 520 series of drives is its ease of programming. This can be accomplished using Studio 5000, Connected Components Workbench, also known as CCW, or configuring it directly from the faceplate itself. They're also available in global voltages and global frequencies. And finally, a key component to the PowerFlex 520 series of drives is its ability to be flexibly installed. They feature a zero stack capability so you can stack the drives one right next to each other. They have high ambient temperature requirements and they can be horizontally mounted as well for panel space savings. Using the PowerFlex 520 series of drives in the integrated architecture has many benefits, one of them being automatic device configuration or ADC. ADC is a way for the controller to determine a difference between a drive on the line and what it is known in the Logix platform. ADC will push the parameters into the new drive. Furthermore, using a managed switch will also provide easier maintenance and installation as the managed switch pushes down the IP address to the new device. And finally, utilizing firmware supervisor the PLC will determine what level of firmware is needed for that drive. If a new drive comes with a newer firmware, the firmware supervisor will flash the new device to its known firmware revision. All these features in the PowerFlex 520 series of drives adds the power and flexibility of utilizing them in your machines. Everything from standalone applications to full integrated solutions. The 527 stands by itself by supporting full-fledged integrated motion. The PowerFlex 523 is considered the standalone drive. It can be easily integrated into a network using some of the modular option cards. It is easily integrated into a Rockwell Automation integrated architecture using the dual port ethernet card. The drive also features five digital inputs, one analog input, and one relay form C. It also features volts per hertz control as well as sensors vector and sensors vector with economizer mode. The PowerFlex 525 is a do-all drive. It has standard features that a lot of customers like to use including safe torque off, an embedded ethernet port, as well as global voltages and power up to 30 horsepower. It features seven digital inputs, two analog inputs, two digital outputs, an analog output, two relays, and the embedded safe torque off for personal protection. Aside from that, it features multiple control modes. This includes the standard volts per hertz, sensorless vector control, closed loop velocity control, and permanent magnet motor control. The PowerFlex 527 is a unique drive that blends between integrated motion and the standard PowerFlex AC drive control. When we say integrated motion, this drive requires a motion PLC in order to be functional. 
This drive runs off of motion commands similar to that found in the Kinetic series of servo drives. The 527 also features the same power range of the other 520 series family of drives, meaning it is capable to control motors from a quarter horse all the way up to 30 horsepower. To make installation easier, the terminal blocks are removable so you can take them out and wire them, then reinstall them into the drive. Aside from the integrated motion commands, there are also add-on instructions to the drive that you can utilize to have it program and run like your standard 525. Now you know the difference between the PowerFlex 523 standalone drive, the PowerFlex 525 do-all drive, and the PowerFlex 527 a motion hybrid type of drive. Thank you for watching our video today on the PowerFlex 520 series family of drives. If you'd like more information on today's topic, please contact your Kendall Electric account manager or one of our automation specialists. You can also visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest to you. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thank you and see you at our next Kendall Quick Connection.